So, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode number 6 of our 1860 Munchen Career Mode. And we are going to be kicking off this episode with a game at the Allianz Arena, as we will be taking on Dusseldorf. So, it's going to be a difficult game for us, but I do believe we can come out on top. Come on, boys! So, Lautaro Martinez on the ball early on as he cuts back inside. He offloads the ball to Liendo. Liendo through to Perlijaj. Perlijaj through to Victor Andrade. Andrade's going to try and take on his man, which he does do quite successfully, but not fully successfully. But at least Ayn is going to keep that one in play. They play ball back to Perlijaj through to Lautaro Martinez. Lautaro back heels the ball through. Not the best, though. Lovely chance for them, though. They play the ball through. It's going to be them against our goalkeeper. Oof, I thought that was in. Thank God for that. Our defence was split in two. So Christian's gone down, he's going to be forced off the pitch, it looks like an arm injury. So Christian's going to come off and we are going to bring on Ribemar up top. So to be honest, it doesn't really make that much difference, but he's a first team striker that's going to be on the sidelines for quite a few games by the looks of it. Good chance for Victor Andre, he's waiting for the overlapping run of Hamilton. Hamilton's got a fantastic chance, he cuts back inside, can he find that far corner? He can't, but Ricochet's back to him, and this time he can find the back of the net. That is what we like to see, Hamilton scoring a great goal, and good on your son. Um, just for the half-time break, give us the best chance. Um, the first shot was blocked very well, but then he managed to squeeze it in from a very tight angle, which is very good to see. Come on! Lovely ball over the top to Victor Andrade. Andrade's through. Can he chip the goalkeeper? He can. And what a fantastic goal that was. He doubles our lead. And that could be game, set and match. As it looks like we're going to pick up yet another three points at the Allianz Arena. This time up against the German opponents, Dusseldorf. It was a lovely chip through ball from Lautaro Martinez. And he just keeps his composure to quickly dink the ball over the top of the shot stopper into the back of the net. That's 2-0. So surely now Moyes Keane's going to pick up the ball and now he's going to be charging through on goal. Is he going to be able to run away from the defender? He's sprinting through. Moyes Keane to pick up his first goal for um, Munchen and he has chipped the goalkeeper as well. So that's two chips in the same game. One from Moyes Keane, the other from Victor Andrade and what a fantastic breakaway that was and that just shows the composure the young striker has. 3-0 up, game set and match. Good chance for Dustin Wolf to get a consolation. They go for goal and they've got it. Ugh, so frustrating. I wanted to keep a clean sheet. Zimmerman played well in this game. He made a few half decent saves, but that one was just unstoppable. Why are they going across to celebrate in front of our fans? I just do not know. But that was a fantastic goal. Don't take anything away from them. And they just showed commitment and just wanted to give their away fans something to cheer about. But we ended up winning the game very, very comfortably indeed by three goals, 2-1. And that's yet another three points added onto our tally for the season. Well done, boys. So we've now got the Finland management offer. So we will stall that one as well as we have got the Wales one. Um, we're not sure what we're going to do as of yet, but we will have a look. And Christian will be out of action for four weeks. So that means Rumar will be stepping up and he's going to be the number one striker for the time being. And to be honest, if Rumar puts in some good performances, it's not going to be the easiest of tasks for Christian as soon as he comes back to get straight back into the starting lineup. So Rumar will be coming on. Uh, Vic van Drongelen will also be playing instead of Berlo. And then onto the bench, we will bring. Uh, Casey Palmer, Isak will come onto the bench as well instead of Olic and Mulders in will bring on this guy here who is actually uh, got a good potential. So let's go ahead and bring him on and let's see how we can get on. Aina has been failing to impress as of late so we're thinking of ch changing out Aina for either Havertz, maybe Casey Palmer can play there as well. We're not sure. And also, Ortega is now going to drop to the reserves and Svila will come onto the bench. Uh, so it's going to be a matter of time now before Svila takes the number one spot. Decent ball through though, Nuremberg. Nuremberg played the ball across, but Barr is there. And he plays the ball to Perladaj and he gets the ball clear without Taro Martinez. And now we've got the chance to break with Ribemar as Ribemar plays the ball through to Hamilton. Hamilton back inside, out wide to Liendo. Liendo across, so we're trying to break them down, but they are proven a little bit stubborn. But we squeeze the ball through to Lautaro Martinez here. He cuts back inside, he's going to go for that far corner, but the defender gets a good block on it. Lovely ball across to Victor though. Victor's going to be running through on goal. Can he put this into the back of the net? He can't, he's put it wide of the post. Lovely ball through, Ribemar, can he score? He can't, the goalkeeper with a fantastic save, Ribemar. That was a fantastic chance and you've missed it some. 
The only boy over the top to Aina here. Aina, can he get a good first touch? Well, the first touch wasn't the best, but he does do well to play ball back inside to Lautaro. Lautaro taking the ball around his man. He offloads the ball through to Victor Andre, cuts back inside, then he offloads the ball back. Lovely piece of play, falls back to Liendel. Oh, that would have been a wonderful team goal, wouldn't it? Good chance for our opponents, though. They play the ball through to their striker. Bar's trying to catch up. But their striker can't even put the shot on goal. And to be honest, we're playing with three at the back and we've got the best defensive record in the league. We've only conceded three goals, guys. Three goals in nine games, I think it is. That's fantastic. Perla Jadj, though. Perla Jadj through the gap to Lautaro. Can Lautaro get there? He can't, but it falls to Victor. And Victor's shot is expertly saved. So Casey Palmer back to Boanesh. Boanesh back inside to Perla Jadj. Perla Jadj plays the ball through. Then he gets intercepted, but it falls to Kwame, who's just come on the pitch. He plays the ball out wide to Casey Palmer, who's also just come on the pitch. He's going to strike it. What a goal, Casey Palmer. That is... One hell of a strike. He's put it right into the top bank corner. The goalkeeper with absolutely no chance in a million years of getting anywhere near that one. And what a goal. That is a stunning strike. Good chance for our opponents here. Can we get the ball clear? Bar goes to ground. They've still got the chance. Vic van Jongelen has been taken on. They go for goal and they found the back of the net. We failed to deal with it. Vic van Jongelen and Bar are two probably best centre backs. Go ahead and fluff their lines. Neither of them could deal with the danger. And our opponents have scored the goal to get themselves back on level terms. And it was a good strike. Zimmerman, was it his fault? Could he have done better? We'll see from the replay. It did look like he was a little bit late to react. I thought Vic van Drommelen was a little bit out-muscled there. Um, I think if he dived to his left, he would have saved it. They have a decent chance for him, though. They're going on a days in run. But Barr does well to take the ball. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. They've scored two goals in the space of about three minutes. This time it's Kemp that scores the goal. And it looked like Barr had won the ball. He's come out of this position. It looks like he's clearly taken the ball, but then it ricochets straight back into their path. He puts the ball in the top-hand corner. And it looked like it was going to be a win for us. And they've turned it round within the space of a few minutes. We've got a good chance as we play the ball through. Ribamar through to Casey Palmer. Casey Palmer's got the chance to make it two in the game. And he's gone ahead and done it. Casey Palmer, that is more like it. And maybe Lautaro, he took his position at the start of the season. But now Casey Palmer might be on course to take it back. All of the players have run over to jump on top of him because he's come off the substitute bench and he's scored two very good goals. He probably will be starting the next game. But now we've got the chance. We're running with Ribamar. Ribamar's got the chance here. He's running at the defenders. He's going to offload the ball to Casey Palmer. Casey Palmer to pick up his hat trick. Oh my God, the goalkeeper saved it. No. It looked like it was going to be the fairy tale ending for Casey Palmer. The goalkeeper comes out, makes a fantastic save. That's terrific. So unfortunately, it just wasn't to be. Casey Palmer picked up two. He had the chance in the 94th minute to pick up the third and win us the game, but the goalkeeper pulling off a tremendous stop. Um, it was a very entertaining game. Casey Palmer obviously picking up man and match. Just a shame he couldn't win us the match, but I suppose we went for a sticky patch of a space of five minutes. They scored two goals, and then we managed to build up composure again and come back and draw the game, which is good spirit. So now it's time for the third and final game of the episode where it will be the first game in the Deutsche Pokal as it will be taken on Freiburg at the Allianz Arena. So Freiburg, are they in our division or are they in the Bundesliga? We're not 100 sure, but we're going out of our second team line out. Svilar's going to be making his first appearance for the club and let's just see how we can get on. Come on, boys. Decent chance for Freiburg though. They play the ball through, they go for goal and Svilar doing well to make the catch. He throws the ball out to Moyes Queen. And Moyes Keane can't turn the ball around the corner for his teammate. They scored and Miles Spielar couldn't do anything about that one. It was just too much for us. Freiburg have taken the lead in the 12th minute and it was just wonderful play from them up top. Lovely 1-2 and he slots the ball calmly into the back of the net. Uh-oh. Decent chance for Freiburg. Once again, they play the ball through. It looks like we're just about to get that one clear, which we do. Does he play the ball to Lautaro? Lautaro through to Isak as he sat, plays the ball back around the corner, but Freiburg are just proving to be a so much better squad than what we are, and we're really struggling just to keep the ball. They're playing fantastic football, and they're just outplaying us, left, right, and centre. The ball through to Isak, Isak through to Moyes Keane. Moyes Keane's running through, and it doesn't get taken down. Referee, no. Oh, dearie me. 
So Martinez through to Moyes Keane. He's just so slow across the ground, and that's what lets him down. He's not too bad technically, but across the ground, he's just very slow. But he's sat here trying to bulldoze his way through, and he can't do so either. So we go into the halftime break, trailing 1 0. Freiburg, though, taking us on down this right hand side. They play the ball into centre. That should be easy for Svila, which it is. He throws the ball out, and can we launch a counter attack? through Lautaro Martinez, through to Moise Keane. Please hold the ball up. He does do as he takes on his man as he plays the ball back through to Lautaro now. Lautaro to burn down this left-hand side. That's more like it. Lautaro, put a good ball in the box, please. It's a good ball. Why did he run past it? He sack. That surely looked like a decent chance. We've got the ball now with Lautaro. Lautaro back to Berlo. Berlo across to our other left-back, Ritlek. He puts it wide. No, he doesn't. He puts it into the goalkeeper's arms. So Freiburg just wasting time now, just trying to run down the clock. And they're doing it quite successfully. It looks like they might score as well. So in the 86th minute, unless we can produce something miraculous, it looks like Freiburg are going to be progressing through to the next round of the Deutsche Pokal. As Svila comes out, he throws the ball across. And now this could be our final chance as we've got the ball and we just can't get the ball across to Casey Palmer, who's just come on the pitch to try and salvage something for us. And now we're moving into the 90th, and it looks like we are going to go out in the first round of the Deutsche Pokal as they take a shot, and they actually hit the outside of the post. Ah, oh, dear me, not the best way to end the episode, as it looks like we are going to be going, crashing out the Deutsche Pokal, not unless the referee will allow this to play on which he does do, but our passing has just been atrocious. So we end up going out the cup competition. The board won't be too happy about that one. And that just proves we had zero shots on target. The worst performance from us without a doubt of the series, and it needs to improve. However, guys, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below, as it is going to be hugely appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest videos and Career Modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.